Good night. I was going for Clubhouse there because I had just played it. Okay. And we got Clubhouse again. I actually just played Clubhouse in a match. It was not a very good one. We kind of got slammed on it, to be honest. I doubt you guys will be seeing that video, but maybe if we do a better one here, I'll like make it a double header. I guess we'll see. There wasn't too many helpful things. It was one of those matches where my team was all dead right away. So not too many helpful tips really to go over. So I don't prefer to upload those games. I do sometimes just to show you it does happen to me too, but yeah, not worth seeing. Unless we do good on this one, maybe then I'll put it like I said, we'll see. We just got the Jackal out of there too. Jackal is good on Clubhouse. He's not the best really, but again, I say it all the time. He's just very, very annoying. He's so annoying to deal with. Just rather ban him and get him out of there. Not to deal with him the entire match. Okay, got the mirror out of there. That's good. Mirror's really good on the basement site and the gym site. She's like a must pick on those, really. At least for competitive. Not as much for ranked, I guess, but I do want to play Mirror sometimes. Some people have been requesting her too in the comments, so I'll give her a shot when we get the right sites and she's not banned, but we'll see. Just got to pick her when she's not banned. She is banned a lot in ranked still, so it is hard to get her in, but I do have her on all of my accounts, I believe. All the two or three I've been using this season. So maybe we'll get her in at some point. I'm bringing the castle strats though. Oh, we're on cash CC, okay. I thought we were on gym bedroom to be honest, but I guess I can make castle work here too. Is that the one I voted for? I can't even remember. I was too busy talking. Sometimes I just get distracted and don't even realize what I'm doing there. But that's alright. I'll show you guys a good castle roam you can do, like, kind of downstairs. Okay, first I'm going to set this up properly. For some reason, I don't know why. I've seen people, like, put the reinforcement on the left side here. I just put high head holes on that one, but you should never reinforce that wall. Only reinforce this middle one right here. You don't have the necessary, like, reinforcement numbers for that. You should always reinforce, like, garage downstairs, too. The single con wall. And you won't have enough if you do both those. And it'd be easier for them to take. You can pick from both sides of the reinforcement that way. Okay, I'm gonna put a castle there. Warren went into stock. I would've put one there, but it's alright. I'll put one right here on this. Just so I can play safer here. procs on there so I know the answer below. I don't want to get swung right away. Seems they're already doing it. They destroy this right away. It's not the end of the world. That guy's lost. What are you doing, Ash? By the way, we are in um, like Diamond Champ MMR on this account. Somebody just put a Claymore. As you've seen in the last game, we were playing like champs with the cards and stuff. I don't know what that Ash was doing. I guess we're in copper, actually. I doubt they think somebody would peek the uh, castle right when she destroyed it, but I'm crazy like that. Got to do the unexpected. They're droning me now. They know. Ooh, that would have been crazy. Thought somebody was about to jump in. And repel now? What are they doing? Oh my god. Bad aim, bad aim. I was not expecting somebody to jump in there. And when you're trying to readjust your aim with the UMP on castle, it does not go well. All castle players would understand. I was not ready for that guy to jump in. That was a crazy play. Warren traded it too, so I don't mind that I died. It's whatever. Good round from the team. I don't know what their attack was. They just got destroyed. Again, was just not anticipating Thatcher to jump in there after they had just drove me on that stairway. I could have easily moved spots and not even been there. Like, I kind of did. I, if I was holding the actual angle, I would have got a free kill. 
and I was trying to talk to you guys, and he jumped in. That was pretty rude of him, to be honest. I was rudely interrupted. So not a fan of that. Okay, we're going to be doing the roam on the basement site. I'm just taking the Wamai. He's a very good operator for this. We got the 1.5 meta coming out here. Got Warren, Doc, Rook, Monzi, and Wamai. That's insane. 1.5 meta in full effect. I got two assists that round too. I almost destroyed that Flores. That's who that even was that was running across. I think so, if I remember. I always make full holes on this right side. I'll do that before I roam. These guys are just chilling. Okay, I'll go get the hatches and stuff for the team, too. Those full holes just make it harder for them to enter and, uh... I'll take that. It makes it harder for them to enter into, uh... Another one. Like a second, I guess. For free. That's three drones, but it makes it harder for them to enter into blue. You can just watch those from way back. Okay, I'll get the bar hatch too. Probably should go back to site first and place my magnets, but... It's whatever. I'll get the third hatch too, why not? Let's be a good roamer. At least if I'm gonna roam and be off site, I'll get all the hatches for the team. Be useful. Show you why I'm making that too. You can hold the stock door from that hole I made. It's better with like a shotgun too. That way you don't have to make it like a massive hole that they'll see if they drill in this. Could work still. How are they going to attack this? You always have to see if they're going to like do a full roam clear up top or if they're going to go more direct. Like a kitchen dirt take. I think they're doing more direct. Yeah, they're in. They have a nomad on the stairs. I'm going to put that for a distraction, then I'm going to flank around the other side. Because they are holding that down with Nomad and everything. I'm just going to scare them a little bit. Should we shoot this down too? Yeah, I'm going to shoot that down too for more pressure. No, thank you, Dokubi. Oh, I just have no camera in my hands there. Don't see anything garage. I'm going to go this side. 5v3, nice. Try to head back to site now. See if anybody tries to flank around by me since our team's messing them up. Nobody's blue. Yeah, I was chilling sight. Let's go. Oh, nope, that was not us. Oh, that is not good at all. Oh, I heard this guy the last second flanking me finally from blue, of course. The second I leave, somebody comes down blue late. And it only works our entire team just died to two people in sight. 4v2 on site if you don't include me and you don't include the ram and they all just lose. They have no trades at all. They could have at least taken one so I could have taken the one on dirt and not have to get flanked by a ram. That was unexpected. Well, I don't know how we threw that round. That was a 5v3 too. You know what? I'm bringing the cap game this time for that. Maybe that'll help slow them down just a little bit more to help my team out. I guess we'll see. I need to get more involved here in the kills department. One and two rounds is not good enough for solo queue. I know it's asking for a lot, but think to yourself, you should at least get one kill every round in solo queue if you want to be successful consistently. That is asking for a lot because it's tough. It is very tough to get kills without dying in solo because you have no communication, but you got to try your best. Okay, I'm going to put some on this door. This will just be for late. They're never going to check for Capkins there, I guarantee it. 
I sh I'll show you some uh, more really good ones later. I can't even make holes. This gun's terrible for that. Go up and get hatches. Nobody else is doing it. Okay, actually Doc is helping me. That's good. Because I have a lot to do with the cap gun traps, I guess. Really, I don't have much to do. Just the cap gun traps and that's it, but still. Some people are just AFK. Rook really has nothing to do. He should be doing that kind of stuff. Put his Rook armor down, he's done. I don't know what that goy was doing. I'll put one here for light too, this side. You always want to put it on the side that they're not going to be peeking into the whole time. Which would be that one. I can impact right this too, actually. Another reason I shouldn't have wasted my impact on the rotate, that's why I saved it. It was good to have these. My teammate used his anyway. So yeah, if you throw the impact right at that little it's a ram, that little cabinet thing, it will get anything off the breach that's decayed. I don't want them to see me down here. The ram makes it tough. They were pushing dirt last round too, so I'm kind of scared about that. Are they gonna go for this over? They're taking a very long time. I'm getting stunned. I'm being stunned and the hatch isn't even open yet. There it is. I guess they're just not going for the hatch yet. I'm gonna chill back here. Is that ram gonna try to like late flank blue again? I'm not going to use my impact, I might as well just do that. Give me some holes. 5v3 again, let's chill team. 5v3 again, let's chill team. Goyle's one. Oh. Kate is going upstairs too. Wow, I'm just so surprised that didn't work. What is my team? One dirt. Oh, let's go. Get yeah, my cap gun's main, right? Yep. These are the best ones on the map. Always do these for basement. They never look down there. They always forget about that. Because they have to worry about the entire hallway and so many angles, and they have to worry about the right, so... That'll be the last spot they look, usually. I always put them in, like, the lower corner down there. Quick little double kill, though. At least me and Rook saved it there. Or Doc, whoever that was with me. That was a 2v3 somehow, after it was a 5v3. You almost blew two rounds in a row like that. Absurd. That's why you don't get aggressive in this, those situations. A lot of people ask me all the time, like, when should I play passive? When should I play aggressive? Well, when you're up to, like, 5-3, you just need to go back to site. Like, book that right back to the site. You do not need to start going up the stairs and trying to get a kill. It is already 5v3. You're risking it being a 4v3 by going up there. I'm guilty of this sometimes too. I try to get greedy when it's like a 3v or like a 3v1 or something, you know, or like a 4v2, whatever. But you should just not do that. Don't try to flank. There's no point. If you just sit on site and hold crosses, it's an automatic win. And we'd be up 3 0 right now instead of 2 1. So yeah, just a little lesson on when to play aggressive and when not to. If it's like a 3v5, then we should start doing what Kate did. You should start trying to go up those stairways, try to get the flank going, get a pick back, get two picks back, and we're right back in that round, but it's not worth the risk if you have man advantage. This is pointless. It's dumb siege. Also, after all that rambling, I'm going to be going Amaru, and I'm going to try to get in gym as fast as I possibly can. I'll take the Gon 6 so I can clear some utility. I was going to say util, and then I said util itty. You tell Eddie. You too, Eddie Bitty. Check for your spawn peaks too. Everybody lately has been peeking me from this one right here, like a mozzie. It's very annoying. It's always a mozzie too. I hit that drone too, by the way. If there was somebody in there, I would have heard the sound when I got on it. We're in.
It is good to get quick map control with armor like this. Armor is actually really good if your player is smart. I have no idea I'm here. Oh, sledge, okay. That was actually a great bait there by the ace on the window. That was nice. Ace got a kill too. Really good. Yeah, I'm gonna get my drone now. I'm gonna put a flank drone right here. I can keep getting back on that one, and then I'll use this one as an active drone, kinda. 4v2. Okay, I'm gonna get in here with Sledge. Place refrag. That's not good. Last one's smoke. He's roaming, I guess. Probably below. There he is. I guess he was just red the whole time. I thought my teammate was near there, but I guess not. I was holding the back flank since my other teammate was holding up here. That works though. Again, just got the refrag. You gotta play close to each other in those situations. Again, 3v1. Don't want to be throwing those. We're up 3-1 now. This has been going pretty well. I'm gonna do the same thing. Are they gonna go CC again? They have no idea how I got in there that fast. Nobody was even holding uh, gym or master control or anything. So I'm going to try to get in there as fast as possible again. I might start doing this more often. I find trouble a lot of the time trying to attack rafters in solo queue. I do like doing it with Capital, but unless I do take Capital and the hard breaches and everything, it is very hard to do that, so this is another nice strat to get in fast. And sometimes when you're solo queue, it is good to get in fast like that and catch someone off guard. You can get a free kill and it's 5v4. That'll help your team a lot so they don't all die around you and make it like a 2v5. Happens all the time. The sledge caught me off guard a little bit there when he was running behind me. I thought that was like a 3 armor flanking like a dock or something. But I guess he just sledged the lodgy hatch. Yeah, they want the same sight. I hear him over there. Get the same drone. Like I was saying, though, I hide up behind the uh, little weight rack right here. Because they'll never shoot it, obviously. They will have no idea it's there if somebody's in there. So right when I get on my drone, I will hear them. And then I can jump it back up. And I can even hide it again. I don't know if it's even possible to shoot if they know it's here. Maybe. Okay, same thing here. Don't want to get spawn picked and ruin it. I think we're good. Chill back here in case they pick a window late. Oh, we're so good. Yeet. Just playing for sound here. I, I don't think they have any clum here again. Okay, I'm going to do some droning first before I push up anymore. Make sure the shower's clear. Oh, my team is just dying now. Okay. I'm going to set a flank drone up again. There are three dead teammates. Let's hope they watch it. Let me get the diffuser. Okay. One's in here. Good night. I almost didn't react to that guy. I don't know what he was holding that angle for instead of just hiding. Again, just way too aggressive there from the rook. Should never play like that. I did think I uh, heard him too there. Thought I did. Bulletproof camera on me. Muted, of course. He's going to be in sight, obviously. He 
He's not close to me. I'm gonna try to bait him with like breaking windows and stuff. Ghost pressure. Not really hearing this guy. This guy's being very still. Okay, he's not on this side, I don't think. Unless he's close. I'm gonna go in off of that. I'm sticking. There we go, that's how to do it. I outplayed him. He was giving me the plant. He was not coming towards me. I would have heard him. He should have baited that, but he did not, so free plant for me. Always stick those if you uh if you don't hear him getting too close to you. I was in a safe spot. I knew even if he came through the rotate, I would have had time to turn around by the time he got to me. And there weren't any holes in the uh the wall. He should have done that shotgun thing earlier, that would have helped him, but we got the win. Also, I threw a stun right away in case he was on the door with a pump. I don't want to get my head blown off. Team was four stacked. And then I rotated around to red. That was an unpredictable position. He had no clue I was there. That was a five stack we played? I just deleted those guys. Sorry for running their night. <laughs> That's quite inconsiderate of me. We're still getting exactly 100 MMR2 or RP, I guess. So we're up to Silver 2. We're only a couple games off gold. We're making great progress for the season so far. Here's the advanced stats. We're up to 13 and 5. That's an insane win rate in solo queue. And we've been playing high MMR games for a while now. 13 to 5. 72% win rate. 1.9 KD. Still sporting around the 2 area of things. So, great progress in 18 matches. If we continue this rate, we'll probably be like Emerald something by our next 18 matches, which is not too bad at all. Again, my goal is to play 200 matches this season. We're making good progress so far. Um, this video is probably pre-recorded, so keep that in mind. I've been getting a lot of good matches recently. So, I probably have more by now when you're seeing this, but either way, I'm going to try to get my goal. But either way, I'm going to try to get my goal. And I might play another match in this video too, so stick around. Okay, I'm trying to get the Emerald Plains out of here. Okay, nice. Both people banned it. Bank? Okay. I'm going with some bank for sure. It's been a little bit since we played this now on video. And just in general for me. The last time I played bank was actually like a duo queue game. Stay tuned to my uh, channel too. I might be doing like a duo queue series soon. I did play some games. Okay, nice. My team's actually voting the basement site first. That's a shocker. Usually it's always upstairs right away. Let's pull out the uh, Echo, though. If you guys have watched my bank videos in the past, you know I'm an Echo main all the way. Echo's so good on bank. Easily one of his best maps, if not the best. I do love me some bank, too, like I was saying. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. Okay, I'm going to save my impact, actually. Somebody else can make the rotate. I'm just going to reinforce the other wall. It is usually good to reinforce this one for cover. We're playing the red hall. Before I go upstairs, let me throw these down. I'll show you some good echo spots when I come back. I'm just getting the front hatches. My team's getting the main ones, I think. It is always good to get these two, so they don't drop the back on you. I said front hatches, but I mean, technically it's the front, but the back too? I don't know. Main lobby hatches though. Gonna do some roaming too in the top floor. See if they entry from up here or whatever. They might just go straight dirt, we'll see. Open that up so I can drop back. Um, well, Mai's in there. 
I'll just save my impact in case I go there later. If they're holding there, I don't want to impact it on them. We'll make the other team do it. Great first pick. Can I melee this out? Oh, nice, I can. I can actually hide in the corner. We're running through. Are they going to draw me? I think he missed it. Okay, I'm getting out of there. Mozzie's an open. That's Diffuser too. I'll just chill in the hatch, see if I can get another. One's right above me. There we go. Freebies. And that's Diffuser there. Nice, let's go team. Me and Mozzie just aced, I think. Yeah, we did. He got three. Okay, we're on the upstairs site now. I'll try to make ways. Hopefully somebody else makes those headholes. I can't do it with this gun, let's be honest. I always break the glass so you know if they're on the repels. I'll show you guys a really good yokai spot. There we go. You go to those books, you can really stuff it back in there on the other side of the glass, and it makes it harder to hear just a little bit. Also, last round, I didn't even get on my yokais. I'm pretty sure they were just floating on the ground the entire round, but... Hey, we got the job done in the room. I didn't have time to go on them, really. Sometimes it is more valuable just to get the kills than use your utility, because you're in solo queue and you're in ranked, so... What do you really expect a lot of the time? I'll try to get a good one here again, too, though. Try to get double good ones for this round to make up for it. I always do this spot here in the lobby, somewhere around, like, here in this corner. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I can't really see too well, though, that are standing over there. Try to get on the ceiling. There we go. Shot the camera, I think, from outside, because those doors are closed. Yeah, my second camera can see default plant, too, if they come into there. Quite a bit, too, honestly. They're droning up. I tried to ping that, but it would not let me. Mozzie's in janitor. I'll try to push this. Good night. I think that was the only one. One's on the skylight. I heard him get off his drone. Or on it. Good lobby. Yeah, this camera can see everything. This guy's on main. I try to flank, get greedy. He just dropped. Alright, I guess he heard me. Nice. How does he hear that? This guy has the best headset in the game. To be fair, it's probably like way better than mine. I'm using Apple earphones, so. Okay, team's got to clutch this up. 3v2. Or not. Nobody got my tray in the ash. I mean, I don't expect him to. That was a dumb play by me. Oh my gosh, he's pushing our teammate. We just lost. Okay. Well, that's on me. I, I don't know why I flanked. I was just getting greedy. Sometimes it just feels like that game where you just should flank everything and get free kills because our team was slamming the first round too. I guess it was just Mozzie, but still. Okay, we're going to go back upstairs, aren't we? I think I'd prefer open area. I don't like this site at all, if we're being real. I just don't. I feel like there's just too many angles and too many things you have to watch. We had that down to a 4v2 though. No excuses. That's my fault for trying to flank. I literally just got to shoot in the elevator and Ash can't get anywhere. That's just me being kill hungry, because... Shoot that. I should never rely on my team. That's a good lesson for solo queue. Never rely on your randoms to clutch after you die, so... You have to really play your life and value it a lot. Gotta shoot every last book here. The first time the Echo destroyed the books, but that time I didn't. We're into the same thing, though. That was working pretty well. 
to be fair. Just kind of through the round. Okay, no reinforcements. You should not reinforce all those like a zombie just did on conference. Only the one on the very left. I don't think they'll open that wall anyway. Nobody really went lobby side last round, so... I should be good here. I'll put the yokai just in case for now. Come on. And maybe if they do, uh... If they don't come here again, I'll bring the yokai somewhere else, like in the hallway, to help us out. That should be good. We'll see if they change their push at all. Like, to be fair again, like, that was a bad push they had. We just threw it. I think we got this. Mine's roaming. Interesting. Don't know if we need a well, my downstairs, but hey. At least we got three on site. Mozzie's under fire. This is a crazy angle you can get right here on the flag. Just checking my lobby to make sure. So my impacting below stock. Oh no, that's the mozzie. Like I said, I'm bringing my. Never mind. I'm trying to bring my camera around so I can see the hall now. This one, my below me. For the refrag, I'm gonna try to come back upstairs. Three, four. Let me just chill here for now. Nice. That drone might go see me. IQ, okay. I was not expecting one to jump skylight that late. One's above me on the roof still. He's repelling. I don't even know what angle he's gonna be on, I'm not peeking. Can't impact, one's in my hall. Ooh, that red ping was so far behind, man. Oh, he traded. That's unfortunate. I don't know what we're doing. There were two guys pushing me on lobby. One was in the hall. I don't know what that round was. Somebody's repelling down the skylight, and there's one in my hall. But he ended up going conference, I think. I don't know how a zombie let him get that far, even. Or her, because it was the Ash. I also was not expecting Ash to drop skylight that late in the round there. When I was looking over by main. I was going to try to make a play, but then she dropped on it. Also, they had an IQ to counter my yokai. Smart. Seeing it the first round. Yeah, that's not good that we lost two of those. We got to win two defenses on bank, I think, but we'll see. Maybe it's an attack-favored map. I'm guessing they're going to go upstairs first. They usually do, so I'm bringing the zero. Zero's king on this map, too. Oh, they went basement. Going for the hatch. Try to get this up here. Okay, I don't know if I want the zero then. He's playing cap guns. We know that's there now. You know what? I'm going to play the ying, actually. Put a suppressor on this. I don't play Ying very much, so I want to try to switch the ops again, like I said, instead of just going Buck. That's what I usually would go here for the hard breaches. Ying's actually good, though. I can really dump these Candelas in. Okay, I guess I gotta take Diffuser. Nice. I hate having the Diffuser when I'm trying to, like, do an entry strat and I'm nowhere near sight. I don't want to cost the round. These guys are going Garage, it looks like.
see him up there. I'm gonna see if this guy's tr Okay, never mind. Giannis throwing stuns in the glass. So now he knows for sure. And he see my drone. His stuff teammate. Is he gonna peek this? Okay, I just got fried. Let's see this. Oh, this guy's Zim. Oh my god. Alright. I'm sure that guy's controller, no doubt. Nothing uh, weird about that kill cam at all. Jesus. That guy's doing the most unnecessary movements, too. I hate those kind of Zim players. Okay, nice. Yanni got the trade. At least 4v3. Team's got this. At least they got my refrag. This guy's also doing unnecessary movements. Jesus. These guys have interesting mechanics. They are tweaking. And this guy in open. Okay. Very bad attack. I don't know if this game's going to go in our favor from what I'm seeing right now. That sucks that doc just deleted me like that. Because of mouse. Just swiped my head. With a P90 of all things. I was holding the angle too. I just got fried off. My timing sucked a little bit. I did uh, like just start looking away. I was trying to move a little bit. I didn't think he would actually peek it, but he did. Good shot to him, even if he's cheating. I don't think it would have mattered, to be honest. Even if I killed Doc, it would have been tough to win this. The rest of our team got smoked besides Yana. I was hoping that Yana just wouldn't even, like, do anything there. I like soloing that, because I could have just chilled for a bit, and the Doc would have either left, or I could have baited him and just pre-fired where he was there, because he was just sitting still. And he wouldn't have known when I was coming in, probably. I could have even went around to, like, the, uh... Okay, I'm gonna go zero for this one, too. Because they're gonna be upstairs now, for sure. But I could have went around to, like, the loan office. Broken that window, then doubled back to the main lobby. It's a good little bait and switch you can do for that. If somebody's on you. Because then I could just walk in the door and he would not know. He would be aiming at loan office still, probably. He also got my drum because of that random stun Yana threw in. He also hurt me, I think, to be fair. Okay, I'm going to try to get it up here again. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, no. Yep, same Doc. He knows. So Doc's going to be holding the lobby again, I'm guessing. I went zero this time, like I said, because he is very good for getting control main lobby. And I have a 2x on my gun. So I can get really long angles with it. I do love Zero with the extended barrel 2x. Angle grip as well. It might sound like a weird loadout, but this gun is like one of my favorites in the game with this stuff. No way they jump out lone, right? Knowing that dock though, after that last thing, anything's possible. Show you some good Zero cam spots for taking this. Shoot both of them from outside. Again, I'm just hoping I don't get jumped out on. Okay. Five v four, five v three. I'm just waiting to see if main lobby's clear. They're probably going to react to my team now, getting the kills. If I can get in here. Everyone's dying, okay. Is that a mozzie drone? Pretty sure that was blue. Yep. Well, they know where I am. Because my whole team's died in one second. It was that dock again, too. Nobody upstairs I can see. Solus. I'm gonna rotate with our teammate, try to play a trade. If he can just chill and wait one second. I think we can do this. We're full HP. Or not, man. Oh, that guy's there. I thought they had a Solus. I heard a castle shoot, so I was like, wait, what? I guess Mozzie was in the elevator and he just heard me get on the cam or whatever. 
Alright, man. That was just a bad game all around. We had no help either. Three of our teammates went like 5 and 13. Just a solo queue game there on bank. You need a lot of coordination on this map, so it could be very rough in solo queue a lot of the times. So, I mean, if you wanted to ban bank, I wouldn't blame you. I do like playing it still, but it is rough a little bit, just like this one. There are a lot of games like this. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is, like I said. Only last 8 RP, because... I mean... I'm in, like, very high champ games on the Legion Goo account here. But anyways, if you did find this video helpful or enjoyed, leave a like down there below. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!